Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh huh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Uh. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. Uh, what's good everybody? Welcome to Speak On It. I'm your host Steve. And I'm your host Rico. And today we're down here at the uh, gym. We're interviewing Coach, aka Noise, um, <clears throat> for the Golden Gloves movie. Uh, tell us something about yourself. Uh, How did you start uh, boxing? Well, the way I started boxing was when I was uh, coming up in the projects, Wayne Minor, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, as a kid, and I seen the older guys. You know, uh, they was boxing, and I seen them in the evenings at times about three, four o'clock in the evening, jumping in the back of a paddy wagon, uh, old paddy wagon that uh, Mr. Joe Rima, one of the boxing coaches that Don Bosco had, that he used to go around the projects, mm -hmm. picking up guys, and uh, so one day I decided I was going to jump back there with him. I jumped up in there with him and went to the gym with him, <laughs> and. Uh, that's when I started boxing. Okay. And my very first fight was in one of the penitentiaries, Jefferson City, mm. as a kid. Oh, great. Right. And that was my first fight ever. Then they opened up a gym uh, in the building in 2011, in one of the projects building, because you know, you have five buildings in Wayne Minor. You have 912, 1821, 2011, mm -hmm. 1900, right. and 9-11. Uh, and uh, I started going down there with some uh, other guys that was uh, boxing in uh, projects, and and that's how my career started off as a kid. How old was you? Then I was I was eight years old at the eight. time. Then uh, as I went on, I started doing things I know I didn't have no business doing. Mm -hmm. Started smoking, and you know, and found out that didn't do me no good. So. I decided when I got older, I, was, uh, I went to, I went to uh, Manor High School from Manor to Northeast. Then I decided I was going to go to the service. I went to the service. So you from Kansas 1977. City? 1977. Kansas City is my home. Okay. And uh, I started boxing in the military. Okay. Uh, went to Fort Lewis, Washington. Uh, first, I went to the reserves in Kansas City, Kansas. After the reserve, I went to my CO and asked him would they make me up for orders and send me active duty because two days out of the month wasn't enough for me. So I decided I would go into the service full time. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I went to Fort Lewis, Washington. I was in the Air Defense Artillery Unit 167. And I started boxing there. Mm -hmm. And I became the post champion there for the three years that I was there. In the headway division, yes. In How was that uh, transition from what you was taught on the streets to over there? Well, the transition from what I was taught on the streets, uh, being around the, the older men that I was around, which was a good thing because I didn't do a lot of things that other guys were doing. So the transition from my home destination to the military was a great transition because I, I, I could help my mother out and uh, I didn't have to worry about her worrying about me mm -hmm. and where I was. Did uh, some of the things you learned when you was a kid boxing, did, because uh, I remember I was listening to you talk, you was talking about you could tell the difference between people who've been trained the, the American way and the people who've been trained the old Olympic style Olympic boxing. style boxing. I'm sorry. Training Olympic style boxing. And did, did, do you feel that you received, was taught by anybody who knew some of that Olympic style boxing when you was a kid? Yes, I was taught by some of the 
the greatest boxers in Kansas City by watching the things that they've done and they worked with me. Someone worked with me as a kid. Mm -hmm. So, but the USA style of boxing taught me more. Okay. Put me more up on my, up on my boxing skills. Okay. And I got a chance to move around the country and, you know, for the U.S. and compete against other countries. And when I went to uh, Germany after I left Fort Lewis, Washington, I continued my boxing career over there as well. So I got to go to different countries, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Oslo, Italy, Holland, Russia, places like that, fighting for the U.S. Which, and, which, which one of those places was the hardest for you to fight in? Well, uh, I didn't consider uh, any of my fights being hard mm -hmm. because I felt that I was trained to the percentage to where I would have a lot of problems in any of my fights. Because I train hard, I work hard, and I train to win. Right. And Spoken like a true champion. And that's the way <laughs> I was taught, and that's the way I always be. Uh, how, how, long you, how, how long you been boxing? How long did you I've been boxing, boxing since I was eight years old. All the way 51 to, years. To 50, ooh, that's a long time of hurting 59, people. 59, I'm about to turn 60. How many uh, different uh, fight styles have you learned? Well, there's many different fight styles, but I always have my own. I think of uh, different types of ways to beat my opponent. You know, if I decide I want to drop my hands, or I want to go back to the fundamentals of boxing that I was taught, or I want to spin off and let them, you know, I kind of let them uh, come to me and I fight my fight and not their fight. So. I spin off. I may go to them at the time. I spin off. I come with a two or three. Kind of like a Floyd Mayweather. That's the way I work my combination. <laughs> do you, uh, is, is boxing the only thing you do? Do you do else? Say that again. Is boxing the only thing you do? Do you do, like, gym? No, I work on houses. I do. I'm not talking about this, like, fight, fight, fight do you, like, do you do any other type of Did you ever taste, like, yeah, you know, martial arts, mixed martial arts? No. No, that just boxing. Pure boxing. Only boxing. Okay, okay. Um, boxing is the only thing I've done. But as in your professions, what else do you do? Like your hobbies, your trades, all well, that stuff? I worked on uh, houses. And I play basketball. I play football. I work with my kids. You know, I my grandkids. I got I got granddaughters I train too. And <laughs> she's cold with them hands. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and a son, uh, Obama Robinson, he's one. Malik Robinson. I train all my kids. Okay. You know, and uh, we told you you I look uh, well. Their mother, she had children before I met her, which had, that didn't make me no different. Right. I was, I, I tried to be a father to all of them. Right. You know, not just one or two uh, that was mine yeah, or whatever. All of them. I was fine. It was seven boys and eight girls of them. So God, <laughs> God brought me through uh -huh. the storm, and hey. Here I am. You did it. <laughs> Both power to you. Oh, um, you bred any champions? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Obama Robinson was one of them. Uh, Malik Robinson was one. Uh, Nick, uh, he's one. And uh, Fuzzy, he was one. And there's a, uh, and a whole lot of uh, champions in Kansas City that I've, that I've trained and I still train today. Uh, they, you know, know, um, Gotten real far to like you know pay per view or HBO something like that. Well, Nick was the, was one of the ones that made it to pay per view. Nick and uh, was it Nick what? Uh, I can't remember Nick's name at the time, but uh, I get him. I get him uh, one day and let you all uh, meet him. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, and, yeah. Him. and he was a, a, a um, champion. You said right? Oh yeah. Uh, HBO channel. Well, what was his? What well, belt did he have? Nick, you know, I think he got the got uh, one uh, one twenty five pound of weight class. But uh, well, I have to make sure that the weight class that he was fighting because a lot of times when he was fighting, a lot of his fights I weren't, I was not there. Right. Because he had veered off into another area of, of trainer. Doing that that period of time, but uh, I look at him as always being my little fighter because 
I started them off. Did you start right? Yes, sir. All right. Um, what was one of your uh, greatest greatest moments in boxing? One of my greatest moments in boxing was when I beat uh, Ray Mercer and I fought uh, Tommy Morrison. Tommy uh, Morrison, Tommy Morrison? Uh, yeah. Tommy Gunn? Yeah, oh yeah. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see, I couldn't really get my fight out the way I would like to because you can't fight him and yeah, how that the other out? people as well. <laughs> so you can't fight out? two people. Yeah. Now I said like that. Okay. And uh, But I mean, I have no... No sorrows about it. Right. Or, um, get him good, that's all I want. Uh, yeah, did you get him good? Yeah. That's all I want to know, too. I, like I said, I couldn't fight him and the referee, too. Ah, so, uh, okay. I got I you. Got, I got mine off. You got your Yes, exactly. I could. Uh huh. So yeah. that's the way that it went down. Oh, man, that's, 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 like. that's great, man. That, 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 that's a real honor for you. Ray Mercer was, uh, was, a, was, a, was a good one, too, because me and Ray Mercer was in the military. Uh -huh. and, uh, me and Ray Mercer was on, we, was on the same USA boxing team, uh -huh. and we competed against one another. He beat me one year, and I beat him one year. I beat him the first year, and then he beat me the second year. Right. Uh -huh. um, another question, we're going to move forward. Uh, the movie, uh, you play, well, can you tell us a little bit about your role in the movie, for the Golden Gloves movie? Well, uh, in the Golden Gloves movie, I'm... I'm really excited about uh, doing this uh, movie shoot, and uh, I would hope everybody else would be as excited as I am to make this movie prosper. Right. You know, be as prosperous as possible. But as long as we put God first, we don't have to worry about it. Did you, play, did you play a uh, trainer in the military? Right? Yes. Uh, when I, when I train, train the fighters in the movie, I train them as if I'm training someone for a real fight. Right. Okay. And I have, I have no uh, intentions on doing nothing but that. Right. Yeah, I kind of saw that. That's the message that. you want to say to the movie. You, uh, in that first scene, we saw you working with somebody who ain't never step in the ring ever. So it seemed like you was giving him some good fundamental groundwork for him to at least look like yeah. he know what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. You seen that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we was here. We, yeah. Yeah, at least that was look some, like that, he that, that was some good That's like that. that was some good groundwork yeah, for, uh, yeah. for, for 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I want you to do. Exactly. This is what you need to yeah. do. It don't and take, it yeah, don't take it that yeah. long. It don't take that long to learn how to box. Yeah. If you can learn those five punches, and then as you go along, continue to do that, then you be, never know, you may become one of the greatest fighters of all time. Well, with that being said, I appreciate you here. appreciate you helping us Thank with you, this sir. movie. And uh, we're going to end it right there. Thank you for tuning in to Speak On It. I'm your host, Steve. I'm your host, Rico. Until next time, signing out. Hey, we gotta keep hustling. Hey. People who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. You are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure. But in the process of doing that, what you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What's good, YouTubers? You can check out my page by typing in Blue Line Studios. Subscribing over here, hitting my link, check out Speak On It with interviews, local business owners, scroll over, check out music videos by Doughboy, Under the Influence. Alright, peace.